Here's a 2019 BMW GS310. We're going to be doing a full oil change. Here I'm doing some prep work to protect the pavers and I'm putting a small 2x4 block under the kickstand just to keep the bike a little bit more level. You have four bolts to remove on the skid plate. Here are the four bolts. They are a 12 millimeter. So grab your M12 socket. Here I'm removing all four bolts of the skid plate. They came off pretty easy. I believe the torque is around nine to 10 Newton meters, which is about seven foot pounds. But here I'm removing all four, put them in a safe place. On the left side of the bike is the oil plug. You have a hex eight for the drain bolt. And there I'm just checking the fluid oil window just to see what it looks like before I remove the oil. I already heated up the bike for a few minutes, but here's your hex eight. And you're going to be removing the oil drain bolt plug. Wasn't too hard to crack open. And remember, it's hot, so be careful. Here's the magnetic oil drain plug. You can see the shavings on the end of it. The bike has 477 miles and it, this is the first oil change on the bike. I will later clean off those shavings by using an air hose to get the shavings off. Now I'm using an oil filter wrench just to loosen it up, take it off. This is the factory oil filter that came with a bike. I cleaned off the plug, the magnetic plug. And there's a washer, an aluminum washer in there. It's 16.2 inner and 20 on the outside, roughly, by one and a half. It's an aluminum crush washer. 16 by 20 by 1.5. I reused the, the crush washer and it worked fine, no leaks. I just wasn't sure what size, so I uh, reused this one. Next time I'll probably reorder a couple ahead of time. Clean off the magnetic bolt, magnetic plug. I tilt the bike a little bit more, actually towards the kickstand I leaned it over just to get more of the oil out. Insert the plug into the crush washer, the aluminum crush washer, and you're gonna use your hex eight and you're going to tighten it to 20 newton meters or 14 foot pounds. And you can see right there it is. Then I used a high flow Filtro HF147. It had plastic on it and it was already pre-lubed, but I took a, my finger and uh, put a little bit more oil on it. Prevents it from leaking around the seal. And you can torque this down to 11 newton meters or eight foot pounds. I actually did it with my hand. I had a pretty good grip on it. So I just did it with my hand. And again, I had no leaks doing it by hand after a 30 minute drive. Clean the area thoroughly so you'll know if it's leaking after your oil change. So now I'm gonna use Motul 7100 4T 15W50. And since the oil uh, funnel does not sit carefully in there, I had to hold it and fill it up. The bike takes 1.7 liters. So 
in this jug I had about 0.7 liters left over. So I emptied that in there. And I have a second jug of which is four liters and I just need to put another liter in. So now I'm grabbing the second jug and I'm pouring about one more liter into it. When I'm probably at three quarters of a liter, I'm gonna start checking the oil level by leveling the bike out, taking it off the kickstand just to make sure I don't overfill it. Now it's level, you can see the oil. Now this is before I started it. So you can see the oil level. Remember that the oil filter is not full of oil. If I had to do it over again, I probably would have put oil in the oil filter before screwing it on, which is recommended. Again, I'm just leveling the bike just to make sure I have a good oil level in there. And it does take time for the oil to settle down after you start it. Checking for leaks. No oil looking out of the oil filter. And no oil coming out of the oil drain plug. Now I'm going to be putting back the skid plate with my M12 socket. I tighten the four nuts to around 9 to 10 newton meters. That's 9 to 10 newton meters, which is about 7 foot pounds. And that felt pretty much how um, tight they were from the factory. I ended up cleaning it up since I had it off the bike, washed it off with a hose and dried it. Now I'm going super speed and tightening it, do it in a cross pattern. But again, I tighten the four nuts at a nine to 10 Newton meter, seven foot pound torque setting. Make sure all four are snug. Now I'm showing here that the oil filter, the high flow filter uh, HF147 is not touching the skid plate. Just wanted to point out some people said maybe it might touch the skid plate, but you know what? It's not touching the skid plate at all. There is a gap, so it's a perfect fit to factory. Again, this is a 2019 GS310 oil change. And that's what the bike really sounds like as long as I'm not having super speed to try to finish this video. Please like and subscribe and ride safe.